let's talk about COVID-19 vaccine development during the pandemic. The United States, as you can tell by this map, is racing to vaccinate a population of 328 million. But local health uh, officials in differing states are progressing at vastly different rates. From this map, the lighter the state color, the lower the vaccination rate. Yellow states are vaccinating at about 11% of the population as of March 25th. Aqua to darker green states have vaccinated 14 to 18% of their population. And the blue to the darkest blue states have vaccinated 18 to 20% of their populations. Alaska and New Mexico both have 20% of their pots of population vaccinated. So they're 20% on the way of having that 80 to 90% vaccination rate that we feel is called when we will reach herd immunity. And that means at this level of 80 to 90% of the population completely vaccinated, even those persons who haven't been vaccinated during the immunocompromised state or for other reasons or for problems with access to the vaccine will be statistically unlikely to encounter a person with COVID-19 so that they will likely not be exposed to or contract COVID-19. This slide shows the example of how COVID-19 data is collected for each state so that confirmed cases, deaths, and the total tested for each state is continually monitored to guide public health decisions about opening uh, businesses and medical needs and anticipation of how many persons in each state might be hospitalized or require advanced care. The percent positive sometimes known as the positivity rate, helps public health officials answer questions such as, what is the current level of coronavirus transmission within our community? One threshold goal for the percent positive is below 5% before governments consider reopening some businesses. And to further relax social restrictions and allow larger gatherings and meetings for people traveling to different areas or for families coming back together again. We want our thresholds to be below 3% for the positivity rate, as that shows that only about 3% of the population has an infection, a COVID infection in any area of the state, meaning we're working to decrease the likelihood that coronavirus can be spread to someone else in any type of potential encounter. This slide shows that currently 46.4 million people are fully vaccinated from COVID-19 effective March 25th. This graph shows that at the start of the pandemic, an overwhelming percent of the population wanted the vaccine, 42% definitely, 30% probably, and only 27% probably are definitely refusing. From May, this number dropped notably, but some reports related to the past election cycle, confusing messages by officials, and active disinformation from social media and websites. After November, the likelihood of getting the vaccine increased. And as of February, 2021, it's practically equivalent to May, 2020 levels, with 19% reporting in this survey already vaccinated. 22% definitely going to get vaccinated, 17% probably, and with a 30% split evenly from probable to definitely not getting the vaccine. We're currently vaccinating 2.5 million people per day with a goal to increase that, to continue to increase our vaccination rates across the U.S. In regard to location, urban and suburban response respondents to the survey were 43% probable to get the vaccine, while rural areas reported 31% probability of getting the vaccine, with that 10% decrease split between probably not and definitely not getting the vaccine. 